Suffering for years, Kratos, the once great general, now known as the ghost of Sparta, had pledged himself as a champion to the gods of Olympus. In return, he hoped only to rid himself of the nightmares that haunted him for far too long. But for now, his only respite, his only relief from the sins of his past, was found in the heat of battle. And on this day, Kratos had been called upon by the gods to confront an unthinkable evil, unleashed on the city of Attica by the invading Persian army. Hey there guys, and welcome to the new LP, God of War, Chains of Olympus. The 2008 PSP game and prequel to the original God of War. And it just came out on PS3 as part of the God of War Collection Volume 2. So that's what I'm playing it on. And yeah, basic stuff. But anyways, I'm sure there's going to be quite a few of you who are happy that Kratos is finally back on my channel because it hasn't been the same without him. Anyway, what you doing, boat? Shooting flaming arrows? Also, this entire battle kind of reminds me of 300. You know, with the whole Persians attacking thing. The only difference is that Kratos is about a hundred times more badass than that guy from the movie, whatever the hell his name was. The This is Sparta guy. I mean, Kratos is much... He shouts much cooler things. Trust me, over the course of this game, he will have some pretty damn hilarious dialogue. Anyway, just go and bust open some crates to get some red orbs, because we all know those are super important for upgrading my weapons. And... Okay, pull down to fire the ballista. Hey, boat, guess what? Right back at you, bitch. Kabam! Blew him right down the middle. Perfect. And... Oh, that's convenient. Hole in the roof. Fine, we'll go down then. And jump. Man overboard. Huh, we're getting trophies already? Oh well. Whack the people in here. But how did they get in here? The doors closed. The hole in the ceiling wasn't there. Maybe the window. I don't know. Let's get out of here anyway. Come on. Whoa! Jesus. Cyclops with a huge ass battering ram? I don't think so, because Kratos is freaking stronger than- Whoa! Giant monster shows up, and I was just looking forward to fighting the Cyclops. Why? Anyway, first boss fight. Yeah, not even five minutes into the game, and you're already fighting a boss. Some huge freakish monster lizard that breathes fire. But yeah, he doesn't really fit through the doorway, even though I'm sure he's bigger than the entire building we're in. Oh, I guess we're done already. Alright, whack him around a little. No, you can't smack me. Only I can smack people. Ah, no can do. There, down boy, and stay. Hmm, you know what? It'd be a shame if that club was just wasted. I know, we'll smack him over the head with it. Oh, did we just take out his eye? Wow. Kratos, you still got it. Even though... This... Swing batter. Ah, nice. Whoa, that thing is huge. And I guess the Persians are... Shooting at it as well, so it's not with them. Maybe just some random monster that wandered into the city, I don't know. But, yeah. The plot of this game, I don't really know the exact number in years, but I do know that it takes place like a few years before the events of God of War 1. So pretty much this is where Kratos' story begins. Apart from the, uh, you know, the cutscenes from God of War 1, which showed his past when he fought the Barbarian King and sold his soul to Ares and stuff. That takes place before this. Because he was still brown then. Whereas he is now pale as a ghost. 
The Ghost of Sparta. That's where you got his nickname from. Anyway, treasure chests here. Yes, all the hidden things are back as well. You know, the Gorgon eyes and the Phoenix feathers. The Minotaur horns are not in this one. Unlike in God of War 3. Because they didn't... You only have two bars in this one. Health and magic. No items or superpowers or whatever. Anyway, battering ram doors open. Drop your weapons. I'm here to... Why is Kratos here anyway? I mean, is he supposed to fight off the Persians? Because he doesn't really seem to be doing that great of a job. If that were the case. Because shouldn't he be out on the beach taking out the entire fleet now? And what is that? Is that water? I can just jump in it? I don't have any, like, projectile magic yet, and I can't reflect arrows. So, yeah, we can't swim over there. Alright. Now, most of you may be wondering, like, huh, a PSP game, huh? But this is on PS3. Yeah, they were supposed to, like, uh, do a little HD upgrade for this, but... I still don't think it looks that amazing, to be quite honest. I mean, I've played this one on the PSP from, like, someone I knew. And it I don't really remember the way it looked on the PSP, but this does not look much better. It reminds me of the way God of War 2 looked on PS2. So, yeah. And this game is a quote-unquote HD port. Or maybe just because I'm not playing it using an HDMI cable. Because my Dazzle doesn't support those. I'm just using the regular red, white, and yellow ones. Anyway, this door can be a bit tricky. Because it tends to close before you can go underneath it. Unless you, like, just do some quick rolls like I did. Anyway. This also kind of reminds me of that movie Troy. You know, with Brad Pitt and uh, Orlando Bloom and... Uh, who else were in it? I don't know, I'm not much of a movie watcher, an actor, fact knower and all that stuff. You know, the whole beachhead storming scene with Brad Pitt, pretty much doing everything by himself because he's that awesome. Yeah. Pretty sure Kratos could take down Achilles any day. That's actually one of the few mi Greek mythology characters that Kratos hasn't killed at some point. I don't know, maybe for in a future God of War game. I mean, hey, God of War is like one of Sony's best-selling franchises, so... They'd be stupid if they'd not make any more games of it. Although the plot does not really leave much room for uh, new games, to be quite honest. I mean... There are five God of War games that kind of form the plot. God of War 1, 2, 3, Chains of Olympus, and Ghost of Sparta. Now, the chronology pretty much is... Uh, Chains of Olympus takes place, I think, like six or five or seven years before God of War 1. And then God of War... Chains, or God of War Ghost of Sparta takes place pretty much instantly after, or just a very short period of time after God of War 1, and then God of War 2, well it's not really stated how much time there is between Ghost of Sparta and God of War 2, uh, so that could be anything, though again I don't think it's that long, and God of War 3 pretty much begins where God of War 2 ends. So, ooh, all beam walks completed. Please let it be so. <laughs> what evil have you wrought on this city, Persian? Evil? It is not evil that I bring, Spartan. I bring the might of Persia and the sacrament of purification. As we speak, my basilisk cleanses this land so that it may embrace the glory of the Persian Empire. Olympus has sent a message, and I am here to deliver it. <laughs> then, you are just a messenger. 
So take this message back to your little gods. It will take more than a pathetic Spartan to stop the power of the Empire. Wow, he's huge. He is like at least two feet taller than Kratos is, and Kratos is supposed to be a pretty huge guy. If I remember correctly, when Kratos was in Soul Calibur Broken Destiny, his bio city was like six foot something, six foot eight, I think. Which is pretty possible. I mean, Kratos is a big guy. Then the Persian King must be like at least eight feet tall. Anyway. Yeah, he's not really that hard, though, when he has some kind of demon living inside of him. That's quite scary, but let's finish him off. Please! Please, spare my life, and I will give you all that you ask. You have nothing I want, Persian. Take my kingdom, my women, my gold. I won't take your riches, but I will take your life. Now that children is badass dialogue. Oh, you like your money so much? Here, why don't I kill you with it? Kabam! Smash in his skull with a treasure chest. And now we take the demon that's inside of him. So yeah, Kratos could use an exorcist right about now. Press R, hold R1 and press triangle, huh? Okay, demon comes out, stomps the ground, sets everything on fire. Although, correct me if I'm wrong, but... Well, I'm no Greek mythology expert, obviously, but I have never heard of the Efreet in Greek mythology. I'm pretty sure that's not from the Greek mythological tales. Anyone run a little background check on that for me? Hello? Oh yeah, censoring. Crap. I have to do this shit again. Anyway... As like any God of War game, Chains of Olympus has a sex mini game, and this one is pretty damn early in the game, actually. All right, watch the candle wiggle. Oh, dude, Kratos, not cool. You having trouble there, Kratos? It's not working for you. Ah, oh, don't worry, man. We all have that sometimes. You know they have pills for that. Although I don't think they existed back in ancient Greece. Dude, you fail at it twice? What are you, gay? Nah, Kratos ain't gay, he's the manliest man there is. Although he does wear a skirt. Ah, dude, Kratos. Yeah, I know, I suck at the control stick inputs. Don't worry. Alright, going better. He's finally able to maintain it. Ah. Uh. Rose. Oh, he's really going at it. L1 plus R1. Damn. Dude, watch out with the candle. It could fall over and set the whole place on fire. Oh, okay, it's out now. Yay, no more censoring. Yes, it's necessary. I can't show you boobs. Ah, <laughs> two girls, one Spartan. That is priceless. Whoever came up with that trophy name deserves a freaking medal kick the ladders down to prevent enemies from spawning. Hey, the basilisk is back. So apparently that thing is the Persian King's pet. Uh, exactly how do you control something like that? Seems to me you just release it somewhere and then stay the hell out of its way. Anyway, upgrade the blades. Big spender. Yeah, you get that one for just upgrading any weapon to just like upgrade it by one level. So, not really much. Let's see, there's a ballista here that we can turn. And he's not really moving from that roof, so guess what we need to do? Oh, wait, why is it turning back? That's weird. Okay, there we go. Now it's locked into place. I hadn't pushed it all the way. Anyway, eat this, sucker. In your other eye. Or in his neck. Man, I was aiming for his eye. Oh well, he's gone now. So, I guess we'll have to chase after him again. I must say, compared to some of the other, like, beginning bosses in God of War games, the Basilisk is kind of underwhelming. Like, compared to, say, the Hydra from God of War 1. Oh well, it is a PSP game, after all. 
I mean, obviously it's not going to have the same technical power as the PlayStation 2. Because it's only the PSP and Phoenix Feather. Anyways, I'd say that's about it for episode 1. We killed the king, we fucked some twins, and I'll be signing off now. So stay tuned for the next part of God of War.